what I love about my work is that I have the opportunity to be creative every day. I love the excitement. There's something about me, it's an inherent part of me, that wants the excitement of invention and creativity. My schooling was uh, somewhat different from what it is today because we had two classes in one room. This was in a public school. Frequently, you'd finish your work and you would hear where someone was having trouble in the next class. You would put up your hand and you would give the answer, especially in math. And this went over like a lead balloon, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, what you really did was you learned two grades at one time. I loved learning and loved learning new things. I found it very exciting. So this probably made me what I am today and what I was for many years. When I entered the workforce in 1946, not many women were being hired, but the few that were, they were hired because there were so few men available. They were at war or just coming back from war. So uh, women were being made offers, but that didn't mean you know, that the problem was completely solved because uh, women had a very difficult time after they got jobs and many women did not stay very long. But I was stubborn and I decided that I was gonna <laughs> stick it out and see what happened and things improved eventually. But I didn't stay just because I was stubborn. I stayed because the work was what I wanted to do. It was 1965 and I was assigned to look for this super strong, super stiff, but lightweight fiber. In the course of that work, I made a discovery. The results came back. It was very strong and very stiff. Unlike anything we had made before, I hesitated about telling anyone uh, because it was unusual and I didn't want to be foolish. And so I sent it down a few more times and it always came back, more or less the same numbers. And so I then told my supervisor and we in turn told the laboratory director and everybody became very excited. So that was the beginning of Kevlar. I was elated to have made this discovery because most people work a lifetime and they never do anything like this, something that saves human lives. I think the role of science is to improve human life in general and improve the world as well. When I reflect back upon my career, I am inspired by the fact that I uh, was able to uh, do something that was of benefit to mankind.